Hello. Uh, so this week I was going to be doing uh, the story Chicken Greda's Family, but I was having a lot of trouble with pronouncing the various different Danish names in it and the places. I was going to change the names uh, so that I could pronounce them better, and then I was doing a bit of research and discovered actually it's a kind of a historical... Like, it's a bit of fiction on top of a historical story, so I thought it was best to leave that alone. Um, which means that we'll be doing uh, a different story this week. So if I... Pick something else out. We've got The Thief and His Master by the Grimm Brothers. Just the book on top. And I'll just read it as it is. It's fairly short. Hans wished to send his son to learn a trade. So he went into the church and prayed to our Lord God to know which would be the most advantageous for him. Then the clerk got behind the altar and said, Thieving, thieving. At this, Hans goes back to his son and tells him he is to learn thieving, and that the Lord God had said so. So he goes with his son to seek a man who is acquainted with thieving. They walk a long time and come into a great forest, where stands a little house with an old woman in it. Hans says, Do you know of a man who is acquainted with thieving? You can learn that here quite well, says the woman. My son is a master of it. So he speaks with the son, and asks if he knows thieving really well. The master thief says, I will teach him well. Come back when a year is over, and then if you recognise your son, I will take no payment at all for teaching him. But if you don't know him, you must give me two hundred talkers. The father goes home again, and the son learns witchcraft and thieving thoroughly. When the year is over, and the father is full of anxiety to know how he is to recognise his son. As he is thus going about in his trouble, he meets a little dwarf who says, Man, what ails you, that you are always in such trouble? Oh, says Hans, a year ago I placed my son with a master thief, who told me I was to come back when a year was over, and that if I did not know my son when I saw him, I was to pay two hundred talkers. But if I did know him, I was to pay nothing. And now I am afraid of not knowing him, and I can't tell where I am to get the money. Then the dwarf tells him to take a small basket of bread with him, and to stand beneath the chimney. There on the crossbeam is a basket, out of which a little bird is peeping. And that is your son. Hans goes there and throws a little basket full of black bread in front of the basket with the bird in it. And the little bird comes out and looks up. Hello, my son. Are you here? says the father, and the son is delighted to see his father. But the master thief says, The devil must have prompted you, or how could you have known your son? Father, let us go now, said the youth. Then the father and son set out homeward. On the way a carriage comes driving by, and the son says to his father, I will change myself into a large greyhound, and then you can earn a great deal of money by me. Then the gentleman calls from the carriage. My man, will you sell your dog? Yes, says the father. How much do you want for it? Thirty talkers. Eh, man, that is too much. But as it is such a very fine dog, I will have it. The gentleman takes it into his carriage. But when they have driven a little farther, the dog springs out of the carriage through the window and goes back to his father, and is no longer a greyhound. They go home together. Next day there is a fair in the neighbouring town, so the youth says to his father, I will now change myself into a beautiful horse, and you can sell me. But when you have sold me, you must take off my bridle, or I cannot become a man again. Then the father goes with the horse to the fair, and the master thief comes and buys the horse for a hundred talkers. But the father forgets, and does not take off the bridle. So the man goes home with the horse, and puts it in the stable. When the maid crosses the threshold, the horse says, Take off my bridle, take off my bridle. Then the maid stands still and says, What, can you speak? So she goes and takes the bridle off, and the horse becomes a sparrow and flies out at the door, and the master becomes a sparrow also and flies after him. Then they come together and cast lots, but the master loses, 
and changes himself to the water, and is a fish. Then the youth also becomes a fish, and they cast lots again, and the master loses, so the master changes himself into a cock, and the youth becomes a fox, and bites the master's head off. And he died, and has remained dead to this day. Let's pick another one for next time. Next it'll be the glass coffin. Thanks for watching. Bye.